Bruce Pittman, me here. Shout out to Mr. Boxing. Hey, my number one online source for heavyweight boxing. Please watch Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mr. Boxing. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so let's talk about some cruiserweight action really quick. Um, now, this fight's going to go down November the 10th, all right? And Manchester is going to be for the uh, Undisputed Cruiserweight Championship that Usyk holds. Uh, a lot of us thought when, when this fight was first being talked about, uh, we, a lot of us, including myself, we thought that it, it could be at heavyweight. It could be an introduction to Usyk to the heavyweight division. To fight Tony Bellew. We know Tony Bellew moved up to heavyweight to fight David Hay um, twice. Uh, but they're going to have it at cruiserweight, and, and I, I like it. I, li I liked it either way, but I like that it said cruiserweight because Usyk gets a chance to defend his undisputed crown. Not just win it, but actually defend it as well. Um, so it would be nice to see that to not only, you know, for him to be undisputed as he he, he earned it in the ring, but for him to actually defend it. All right, now the, the fight itself... Tony Bell, you, you know, when he did go to heavyweight, it's not like he packed on a lot of muscle or, you know, it was, you know, it was some flab on him. You know, he was only about 210, 213 pounds for both of those fights with David Hay. I think one fight he was 210, the other fight he was 213. So, he, you know, when he did move up, he wasn't a, a really big heavyweight and he doesn't have a lot of muscle to lose. So I think this weight should come off pretty easily for Bell, you Um I, I know I know it's a little tougher to get weight off you as you age, but like I said, it, I think it's more just fat on him when he moved up to heavyweight. You know, just a little bit of cushion on him. Um, but the fight itself, man, both of these guys are around six foot three. At least that's what they're listed at. We will see when they stand face to face. I've never seen them stand face to face. If you guys have, uh, send me a link to it. But I've never seen them uh, stand face to face on paper. Usyk has the reach advantage. I believe his is 78 and Bell U 74. Um, but to tell you the truth, man, just to be honest with you guys, I think Tony Bell U's best chance is to come out and make it into a fight. I really do. Because, you know, when I watched Usyk against guys like, uh, like the Huck fight, there was even moments in the Michael Hunter fight, um, the Gassia fight, a lot of those guys, they put up the high guard and they try to wait for Usyk to get off and then they try to come with their punches. Um, that's really not that effective, man, against him. I think you need to punch while he's punching or just force him all the way on his back foot. Now, I know he can move around the ring. He can slip. He can turn and pivot. He can do all these, you know, special effects. But I think just bring the fight to him. I think that's your best bet. Breeders. Uh, was having success, in my opinion, because he's able to fight in those flows that Usyk can fight in. He can throw combinations and move and duck and roll. I mean, he can fight in those types of flows. I think just bringing a fight to him, man. Just bring the fight to him and uh, fight that type of fight. But I don't see how Bell you would have success if he just stays on the outside, being that Usyk has the reach advantage and the, the hand speed advantage, and he punches in combination. Um, I, I don't think putting the high guard up, waiting for him to get off, and then try to come out of that will work. I think Usyk will be long gone once he lets his hands go and you have your high guard up. I say when even if he is punching from different angles, just throw punches, man. Make it into a fight. Uh, try to test his chin and just bring the fight to him. I think that's Bellew's, uh best chance to win this fight. You know what I mean? Uh, try to use a jab, establish a jab. But when you get in punching range, you got to let your hands go, man. You got to let your hands go against this guy. Um, you know, should be a good fight, a, a, you know, an entertaining fight. Uh, I can't wait for the build up to this fight. I know Tony Bell, he's going to talk a lot of shit, but he, you know, he likes to get in there and uh, back it up, man. You know what I mean? But uh, just my first thoughts about this fight. I'm going with Usyk by decision. I don't think Usyk could knock him out. I think it'd be a good fight. I think it'd be a fight where Tony Bell, you will win some rounds, but I see Usyk winning a decisive decision. Um, I know they're doing season two to the uh, World Boxing Super Series. So this fight right here, I'm not mad with this fight. Uh, I know Tony Bell, you is the champion emeritus of the WBC. He did not lose his uh, 
WBC title in the ring. He moved up to heavyweight. So WBC uh, put him as champion emeritus, meaning that when he wants to come back down to cruiserweight, uh, he can challenge for their title first. You know what I mean? He'll he'll have first dibs on challenging for the title. All right. So this is a good opponent for Usyk, being that uh, the fight that I, that I would like to see him fight if he stays a cruiser was the uh, Breedus rematch. But Breedus is in that second season. I think Glowacki's in that. Uh, Tabidi's also in it. And Dortico's. You know what I mean? So this right here is a good fight. Bellew's coming off two wins over David Hay at heavyweight. He never lost his WBC crown in the ring as a cruiserweight. So it's a good fight. I'm going to go with Usyk. I think he will uh, outwork Tony Bellew. I think he'll uh, let combinations go. I just think his uh, work rate. I think he'll have a higher work rate. And I think Bellew will be trying to wait for perfect opportunities to let punches go, being on the movement of Usyk. I think it'll throw him off a little bit. Um, I think he may adjust in some rounds, but I think overall, just U6 style is going to be all wrong for him. All right. But that's my opinion. We will see when the fight goes down. You can never count out Tony Bellew. I think he'll bring, I think he'll bring the fight. I think he'll put up his best effort, but I just see Usyk as the better fighter. All right. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm gone.